Hi, my name is Britt Schulte. I'm an art history and English literature major at the University of North Texas. I also organize avidly with the Campaign to End the Death Penalty Denton, Texas chapter. Um, I first became involved with the CEDP almost a year ago now. Um, I'm fairly new to the organization. Um, after attending one of their tour stops. Um, it's an annual event that the CEDP organizes, and it's a nationwide tour stop. Um, and the last one to come through Denton, um, I, got to, I got to go and participate in, and it absolutely changed my life. Um, I always knew I was um, against the death penalty, um, but I didn't have a real grounding in fact or um, anything other than a gut feeling. Um, I wasn't very directed in, um, in my opposition to it. I just kind of knew that it existed in this kind of political ether um, that, that I didn't agree with state-sanctioned um, executions. And um, going to this tour stop actually equipped me with the information, the statistics, um, and the human face to this abolitionist movement. Um, it's, it gave me what I needed to um, fill out and round out those ideas that I had about um, opposing the death penalty. Um, and I'm incredibly grateful for that guidance and direction that those speakers from all over the country, um, most of which, you know, homegrown here in Texas, um, came and spoke about. Um, but what really sealed the deal for me at the tour stop was the live from death row call in. Um, that's basically where an inmate um, will call in um, to a particular event and um, they'll share their story, they'll share their, st their struggle. And um, just to hear that voice um, coming over the phone, coming through the speakers, um, being amplified throughout that room and just like filling it up, um, it, it was life changing to, um, to hear that. Um, to have that human face put to this movement, um, to hear that kind of resolute determination um, that even being held captive against his will, he was able to um, communicate his perseverance and his drive um, to struggle and um, for abolition. It, it was inspiring. It really was. And um, it, was, it was what ultimately... Um, you know, convinced me, okay, you're joining this organization after this event, sign up on a contact sheet and become as active as you possibly can. I mean, that was my mindset leaving this event. Um, so I joined. Um, I started going to meetings and um, they were small but a committed number of, of people. Um, we met every Sunday at 3 p.m. and um, went over political education items and um, discussed fundraising and discussed how to um, how to outreach to the student populace but also the community as a whole about the abolitionist movement and the need to abolish the death penalty. Um, I met some some really uh, amazing people and um, forged some incredible bonds with them. Um, around eight months ago uh, a comrade of mine in Austin, Texas, named Kelly Booker, suggested that I start writing a man named Robert Will on Texas death row. Um, she said that our personalities would mesh. Uh, I started writing Rob, and by the second letter, I was an avid organizer um, for his defense team and um, already started integrating his case into um, the work that CDP Denton was doing. Um, he has a way of instilling a sense of duty and obligation to the movement in you. Um, and we've become close friends and some of the fastest comrades. Um, he is an incredible person, but more importantly, he is an innocent and fighting man on Texas death row and needs your support, encouragement, and solidarity as he struggles and performs direct actions from his cell and from behind bars. Just to give you a little bit of background on Rob's case, um, in December of 2000, at the age of 22, which is how old I am right now while making this video, um, Robert Jean Will II was arrested and charged with capital murder. He was accused of the December 4th killing of Mr. Barrett Hill, a deputy with the Harris County Sheriff's Department. Now on January 23rd, 2002, following only a two and a half week trial, 
the jury found Robert Will guilty of the offense of capital murder and ultimately sentenced him to death. Now, Rob, throughout this entire ordeal, throughout this entire process, has proclaimed his innocence and continues to do so from his cell on death row. He has always maintained that his co-defendant, Alan Michael Rosario, was the shooter. The physical evidence, the eyewitness testimony, all of these things support Rob's claims. Even Judge Keith Ellison stated, Will did not confess to the murder of Deputy Hill. The subsequent investigation did not turn up any eyewitness, forensic evidence, or other indisputable proof that Will was the killer. So after hearing that, um, you might be asking yourself, okay, well, why is this man, this innocent man, on death row in Texas then? I mean, if he went in front of a jury of his peers, and we have a court system which proves innocence, why is he on death row? Well, um, I get asked that a lot, and it's something that CEDP works to educate people on. Um, there are two main reasons for this. Um, ineffectual counsel during his trial, incompetent appeals attorneys, um, and a subsequent layer um, to, to Rob's particular struggle, and it's one that we see patterned in textbook throughout struggles on death row cases in general, um, is that Robert's case highlights the inadequacies and prejudices of the U.S. justice system, in particular um, against poorer members of our society. Now, Rob went in without copious amounts of money to spend on a criminal defense lawyer or team of lawyers um, that many you know, wealthy people are able to um, procure and ultimately get them out of a lot of sticky situations because they have the money to do so. Rob was faced with having to, um, to, having to have um, court-appointed attorneys, state-appointed attorneys, um, who we know are overworked, underpaid, and a lot of the times not invested in the cases they're working on because of such the high, the high turnover rate, and um, they are agents of the state. So um, Robert's legal um, representation at, uh, at his trial was appalling, and he would not be on death row. Um, had he had the funds to hire his own attorneys, um, who would have then provided him with adequate and competent defense and counsel. Instead, um, he had two appointed attorneys, um, one of which, uh, a Mr. Ribnick, um, who has recently been removed from the list of recommended state-appointed attorneys because of his misconduct. Um, he submitted identical appeals for both Robert and the railroad serial killer. Now, this is really disheartening um, on a number of levels. First off being um, the kind of just gross negligence and um, just lack of regard for um, Rob's innocence, Rob's life, um, Rob's case, the evidence, the facts. Um, he barely even changed any names in the identical appeals that he filed for Rob um, from the one that he'd filed before for this railroad serial killer. Now, um, even the dates were wrong for both of the convictions um, in, in this, um, this filed appeal. So already we're looking at just gross negligence on the part um, of his, of his um, appeals attorneys. And also the prosecutorial misconduct was absolutely rampant. In fact, um, there have been scandals that have been leveled against um, those um, who were... Who were um, um, working for the prosecution at this time. Um, I don't have time to actually get into a lot of those, but you can find all of this information at www.freerobwill.org. Um, I do have time to tell you, however, that we need your help. We need your support. We need you to show solidarity. We need you to use Rob's name on a daily basis and proclaim his innocence. You can find him on Facebook, facebook.com slash freerobwill. Um, and we also need um, help fundraising for his defense. Right now, um, a, a wonderful attorney, uh, Mr. Kenneth Williams, is fighting to save Rob's life, and we need all the help and funding we can get to have other, other legal um, defense people come forward and help Mr. Williams. Um, so please, get active in the abolitionist struggle, and definitely look into, um, look into the website and information about Rob, and help free Rob Will.